Hey there students, um, on this clip we're going to be going over a short tutorial on how to convert fractions to decimals, alright? So let's go ahead and take a look at the first question, number one. Um, the instructions are to convert convert the fraction 3 over 5 um, into decimal. Okay? Alright. Obviously, you can just plug this in your calculator and it does it automatically for you. But without a calculator, if I wanted to do this, the best strategy would be to use long division, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use long division to convert this into um, decimal. So, I'm going to make my division bar. This is like the dog house. So, which goes where? Remember, the top dog goes into the dog house, okay? So, the top dog is basically the numerator. This is the top dog. And the top dog always goes into the dog house. All right? And then the other number stays outside. So um, I'm going to put the top dog in the dog house. The top dog is 3. And then the denominator is 5. Upon completing this um, division process, I'll be able to generate the decimal expression on the top. All right? So now just the same idea for long division. You ask yourself, how many times does 5 go into 3? 5 is bigger than 3, so it can't go, so we need to multiply this by 10. So to do that, we're going to introduce a decimal point here, 0 point. We have to divide the result by 10, since we're multiplying by 10 here, so we'll put a 0. 5 goes into 30 how many times? 6 times, so we put a 6. 6 times 5 is 30. You subtract, you have no more remainder, that means you're done. Alright? So 3 point three over 5 as a decimal is basically 0 0.6. And there goes your answer. All right, let's go ahead and try another problem. Uh, question number two. We're well, going to convert convert um, one over eight into decimal into decimal form. Okay. So we're going to employ the same algorithm here. We're going to use long division to do this. Alright, so this is a dog house, which of them goes in the top dog, of course, the numerator, which is the top, goes into the dog house, 1, and then the 8 is on the outside, and then we just divide, alright? How many times does 8 go into 1? And it doesn't go because 1 is less than 8, so we need to multiply this by 10 and introduce a decimal here, 0 point, and you have a 10. Now we're going to continue the algorithm again, 8 goes into 10, how many times? Exactly once. 1 times 8 is 8, and then we are, we're going to subtract, okay? Subtract 10 from 8, which is 2, and then we introduce another 0. 8 goes into 20 how many times? Twice, because 2 times 8 is 16. And then you go 2 times 8 is 16, alright? And then you subtract again, you have a 4, and you subtract and put my minus amount upstairs, so you see it? Alright, and then you repeat the same process, you put a 0 here, you ask yourself how many times does 8 go into 40? Do your multiplication table, you know that 8 times 5 is 40, okay, so have 5, 5 times 8 is 40, when we subtract, our final answer, you have 0, when you have 0, you're done, alright? So 1 over 8 in decimal form is 0.125. Alright, so the examples we just did, these are basically terminating decimals, but not all decimals are terminating decimals. Some of them are repeating decimals. Let's consider a case like that. Number three, uh, convert, convert 1 over 6 into a decimal form. Decimal. Alright? Alright, so we're going to employ the same algorithm of long division here again. Set up our division bar. We call it the dog house. The top dog goes into the dog house. Basically, the numerator goes inside. And then the 6 on the outside. How many times is 6 going to 1? 6 can't go into 1 since 1 is smaller. So I have to multiply by 10 and introduce a decimal point. Okay? By 10, 0. 6 goes into 10 once because 6 times 1 is 10. And 6 times 2 is 12, which is greater. So put a 1 here. 1 times 6 is 6. We're going to subtract, and then we have 4, 6, and then put a 0. 6 goes into 40 how many times? We know 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 7 is 42, that's too big, so we're going to use 6 and 6, okay? 
6 times 6 is 36. Subtract. I get 4. 40. Uh-oh. We have 40 before we have a 40 again. So what do you think? How many times does 6 go in there? 6 times, right? 6 times 6 is 36. And then when you subtract, you get 40. 4. The 0 again, which is 40. So what do you think is going to happen if we keep doing this? The pattern is going to keep on going forever, right? Because we have a 6, we have another 6 there, 36. This is an example of a repeating decimal, okay? So in this case, there's a special notation for it. We're going to use a bar notation, okay? So 6, 6, 6 repeating is basically 0 0.16 bar. This bar means that this 6 repeats forever, all right? So our answer, uh, 1 over 6, as in decimal form, is equal to 0 0.16 repeating. Okay? So there you go, yeah. There goes your answer. Thanks so much for uh, viewing this uh, presentation. Please subscribe to my videos for future updates. And then you can also feel free to make requests on the comment spot below the video. And collection of clips can be found on mattoserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.